Hello and welcome back here to the channel here on a set of Corsa We are here to take a look at the second layout of the HDC competition as you can see we have a different style layout So make sure you guys follow me on all social media all those found in the description box below If you want more information on the HDC make sure you check out the link down in the description box below as well Let's get to it All right, so we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna do a bit of a course drive-through walkthrough, if you would say. So this course is a lot more tighter than the other course before. As you can see, we're going over the, you know, curb there. So we have a long straight-in shot to a huge bit of a slowdown because you kind of gotta do a little bit of a slalom chicane into here, and this is where the tight bits get. As you can see, there's not much room other than the room for a car in that little section and then of course we have a little little 180 degree turn there coming through so this course is pretty self-explanatory when it comes to w this where you gotta go because while well, it's you know all covered in walls but there is a one or two sections where there's a bit of a crossover which we're going to take a look at because we of course are doing this and that's right here where you just want to continue the line it's pretty you know it's it's a little bit easier to figure out than layout number one but layout number one once you do it once or twice it's pretty easy so a big shout out to Hexer and the tr crew for hooking me up with this second layout so we could uh, do this little walkthrough so that's the switch back and then you get into the little more tight bits and as you can see there's a lot of uh, really tight really tight turns that definitely need uh, either a lot of power over or handbrake and stuff like that to get around of course you're gonna want to get out into the zone as close as you can to the wall so this is another section where it gets a little bit confusing but it's not too too terrible so it's a big loop around now when I first did the track I was kind of a little bit confused because I thought I went out but you actually want to go in on the first one and then loop around because then it brings you back out into this you know loop again in which time you come through and this time instead of going there you got to cut this really short and go through this inner slow section so those are the only two parts that you have to remember where you are on the course. Otherwise, either A, you're going to go the wrong way, or B, you're going to miss something. So this section, literally pretty self-explanatory with all the walls and everything, which it's very tight and very uh, precise driving involved. There's a bit of a very slow down here into a, another little hairpin, which goes into another little hairpin. A lot of little hairpins in this layout number two. It's definitely a very tight and very awesome track. So, like I said, big thank you to HTC and Hexer for hooking me up with this. And then there's the finish where we started. So, we're going to spawn back to pit so I don't clock this as a time. And we're going to go full send on this course in my HTC 350. Warm up them, uh, warm up them skins a little bit. All right, so let's see if we can do this without totally wrecking. Oop, just a little wall bump on entry. Not a big deal. Not much room, but we got it. Really hard hit. <laughs> Really hard into that. We managed to take down one cone. Not a big deal. Oh, bump that with the front bumper. Oh, I kind of fell out of drift there, but not completely out of drift. All the clutch kicks on this track. This track is a lot of clutch kicks and a lot of handbrake. kind of a little bit of a a oh, little bit of a fault coming out of that hairpin angled up a little bit too much loop 
it inside. There we go. We need to change the gear ratio on my car for this layout. Oh, and see, right there is where I missed where I needed to go. I kind of lost focus on where I was in the track. Kind of mixed up that section. But we got the rest of this so far. I probably shouldn't have handbraked that much on that section. Clutching is my friend. That was kind of a dirty way to stay an angle, but... So we managed to take the run and we managed to complete it, but we did screw up. So of course, you know, we're gonna run another run on this and see if we can't better that. So, attempt number two. Came in a little too hot. Came in too hot on that section. That entry is definitely a very big decider on how you come through that section. Got this a little bit better now. As long as we cannot screw up that other section, we should be okay. Other than the bobble on the entry. So we didn't bobble there either. Oh, too much of a wall tap. No. This is this layout two is definitely way more complicated than layout number one. A lot tighter, a lot more technical. You got to be a lot more precise on your throttle and your inputs. So we didn't mix up that time. We knew where we were. We're good. So other than those two little bobbles, a pretty solid run, but pretty sizable mistakes though. Oh, and that's a much bigger mistake and we are stuck on that. So let's take a look at it from a replay aspect and see what it looks like from overhead. So we are lucky that it did save my replay from the first run set. So we're gonna take a look at it in full flying form. That supercharger just whining. So the course is definitely very, I missed that, I realized that now. The course is definitely very fun. A big thank you to Hexer and HTC for you know hooking me up with the layout number two so that I could throw it out here, get some practice on it and things of that nature. 350Z definitely looking cool in that lighting. So if you guys are enjoying this HTC content, let me know down in the comment section down below. I don't know why I hesitated. I meant to say content, competition, both aspects. So let me know down in the comments down below as well as make sure you check out HDC's information. I'll leave the link for their Facebook and everything down if you want some more information on the competition. So definitely need some practice on this layout for sure. This layout is a tight, technical, but very fun layout. I may have to adjust the tune a little bit on the Z to make it run better. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think of this layout versus the first layout here 
on a set of course that was where I totally messed up my line there and went hard into the barrels and didn't remember where I was but every other part of the course I was uh it's pretty close got those uh, green gloves going on in the in the cockpit of my Z digging in with the handbrake there we go so I think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa HDC round two I guess you would say or layout two course is available for pre buy if you guys want like I said make sure you guys check all the information out down in the comments down in the description down below big thank you to Hexer Mods and the HTC championship so as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track